Welcome to the Student Innovation Center. I'm Jim Oliver, the director of the center. We're here in the main east-west atrium of the Student Innovation Center. Uh, we expect students to be roaming through here all the time. You're behind me is our Stepatorium, which is a gathering spot for collaborating for events. You can see the giant uh, screen that lights this entire atrium up so that we can have presentations and events and speakers uh, as a main gathering spot. There's so much to show you in the Student Innovation Center. I'm, I'm really excited to walk through and explain what we have here for everybody. It's very exciting. All right, we're here now in the Gaffers Guild, which is a wonderful studio for glass blowing. This is a club that's been at ISU for 40 years. This is a magnificent resource, state-of-the-art equipment. Uh, we've got all kinds of audio-visual uh, capabilities to capture what's going on, and it places for students to sit and see the action in person. This is a tremendous uh, example of the interdisciplinary nature of the work that goes on at the Student Innovation Center because we have the, the scientific aspects of glass, and Professor Martin is the leader of that group. He's a world-renowned scientist. And then the aesthetics and the creativity of glass itself for all the different uses. So, this club is thriving and now they have the perfect place to do their work. We're here in our auditorium in the lower level, Student Innovation Center. Our class is just convening before we start. I'll try not to interrupt. We have five university, general university classrooms in the building that'll be uh, allocated to faculty that are interested in innovating in their teaching techniques. And uh, we're thrilled to have uh, a variety of different courses from all around the university taking advantage of these beautiful resources. Right now we're in the assembly bay of the heavy metal shop. This is one of three of our big maker spaces. This one, as you can see, has been dedicated to the student organizations that make the competitive projects. Here's the next generation formula car, Baja car, clean snowmobile, super mileage. Um, and if you want to pan around behind me, there's the upcoming Prism Solar Car. Um, I like to say that all of our clubs will be very competitive with these tremendous resources that are available for them to create and innovate um, in their club projects. Now we're in the fabrication side of this heavy metal shop. And as you can see, we got some pretty serious equipment here for the students to use. So this is primarily, again, for the student organizations that make the competitive uh, projects. Um, top of the line, state of the art, machine tools, lathes, mills, drills, uh, all the equipment they need to make the parts in this side and they assemble them and test them on the assembly bay next door. Now we're in uh, our makerspace on the second floor which is electronics, 3D printing and textile fabrication. You say oh, it's an odd collection by design. So here we are in the electronics area. You've got soldering hoods and various electronics, power supplies, oscilloscopes, and that type of thing. And this is a really common um, place where students will interact with uh, open source hardware like Adrenos and Raspberry Pis and create new things. Adjacent to me here are all kinds of 3D printers. And we made the decision to go with very easy to use printers that are high throughput to get as many students as we can experience with 3D printing. And as you know, you can print just about anything on these machines, different materials and different objects. And as we walk through here, well, we're gonna transition from electronics, uh, 3D printing, and this whole section is all focused on textile fabrication. So we've got really high-tech fabrication for textiles, uh, laser cutters, um, computer-controlled looms and knitting machines and tremendous resources that will support not only our excellent fashion design program, but also a myriad of other kinds of applications where interesting uses of technology and textiles come together. We are in the Architectural Robotics Lab. This is a group in the College of Design that experiments with interesting uses of technology like robots and other technologies to create different building materials. So think of different ways to put rebar into uh, preform concrete, and other really creative uses of technology in architecture. We are now in the Larry and Pam Pithand Collaborative Learning Space, a teaching space for the College of Engineering. There are three spaces like this throughout the building. We've got some students working on a capstone project right behind me here. This room is set up with what we call team-based learning technology. So 
All of these pods have a separate monitor that can, the students can use individually or the instructor can coordinate with what's seen on the big screen or on these little screens. They can push and pull content from any one or any multiple of those to share with everybody else. A very cool technology that is being exploited here at Student Innovation Center. We're now in the Learning in the Round classroom. This is the only facility on campus that's configured in this way of concentric seating. So this is not a lecture hall, this is more like a discussion forum. Uh, you'll notice the seats inside rotate around so we can cluster the students in groups uh, to discuss, bring them back to the broader discussion. Um, notice the beautiful AV above me um, is visible from everywhere. Even the students on the inside and look at the inside displays. So it's just a really unique learning space that we hope many faculty take advantage of here at the Student Innovation Center. Now we're in the Culinary Creations Laboratory, which is a teaching facility for the College of Human Science. This is a fully equipped kitchen uh, with all everything you need to teach the culinary arts, including refrigeration and, and ranges and ovens. Uh, notice we also have a tremendous amount of audio-visual capture in here, not only for the students who are present, but again, that can be routed down to the uh, control room and sent out anywhere in the, in the world. Just a really wonderful resource in high demand. These students are busy making uh, chocolate creations at this time. So this is a teaching facility. Welcome to the Sparks Cafe here on the fourth floor of the Student Innovation Center. This is a student-run uh, cafe, full service. We have lunches and pizzas and snacks and coffee, all operated by the students. This is a, a learning facility, again, for students to learn how to operate a, a food retail space. Staffed by them and stocked and run by students with some uh, supervisory help from faculty in the College of Human Science. A great resource to meet and gather. We have a place you can actually sit and eat and visit with your colleagues and friends. Um, and it's a very popular location here in the Student Innovation Center. Last but not least, on the fourth floor, we have the launch pad here at the Student Innovation Center. Big, beautiful boardroom. Uh, it's configured with tremendous uh, AV capabilities. So as you know, all departments and, and colleges have advisory boards. This can be reserved for meetings like that. Uh, when it's not in reserve, all the students can hang out up here. They love it. It's a beautiful view of the east side of campus. A tremendous natural light and just a wonderful place to get work done. Right here in the heart of the action on the main level, adjacent to the main level atrium, we have um, Innovate 1858, student-run retail. So they create products. Again, this is a learning space for the students that want to learn how to be merchandisers, retailers. Um, they create objects to sell, decide what to sell. There you can see some items from the Gaffer's Guild here that are there for sale. But this is again, student-run learning space for the College of Human Science. And we're thrilled that they are here and they've got tremendous resources. Please stop in and shop at Innovate 1858. Well, thank you for joining me for a quick tour of the Student Innovation Center. I'm so excited that we're approaching full capacity and really encourage you all to come and visit us and see the wonderful activities that are going on here. It's just a very exciting time for Iowa State and its students and faculty and staff. So thank you very much.